of the Strive Asset Management, uh, an anti-activism fund company co-founded by Republican presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy, has crossed $1 billion in assets, even as it comes under legal scrutiny. Ohio-based Strive controls these assets across its 11 exchange-traded funds just over a year since its first fund began trading, according to press release Tuesday. The asset manager launched uh, Quality in 2022 with backing from billionaire investors including Peter Thiel and Bill Ackman as an antithesis to investment giants such as BlackRock Inc., which have emphasized environmental, social, and governance-focused investing. And Strive's mission statement, encouraging companies to focus on excellence rather than ESG mandates according to Tuesday's release, appears to be resonating as investor appetite for ESG dries up in corporate advocates, including BlackRock's Larry Fink, back away from the phrase. Ramaswamy's presidential bid is also likely drawing more eyeballs to Strive's lineup than would be there otherwise, according to Bloomberg Intelligence. Uh, he is currently polling uh, third in, in the Republican primary field behind Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, according to the real clear politics average of polls. Uh, it is a rare feat for any indie issuer to hit $1 billion in the first year, uh, let alone one that is largely a pushback to ESG. Uh, as many of those ETFs have flopped, uh, Bloomberg Intelligence senior ETF analyst Eric Balchuna said, uh, Ramaswamy's wealthy backers helped a lot and running for president probably can't hurt either. Uh, that is some unchartered territory when it comes to ETF marketing. Uh, and Strive has had the most success with its $369 million Strive U.S. Energy ETF, ticker DRLL, which tracks the same portfolio as BlackLock's $1.4 billion iShares U.S. Energy EYA. However, DRLL's selling point is that Strive would use its shareholder voting power to encourage the companies it holds to drill more and frack more. Ramaswamy said last August, apart from DRLL, its largest and oldest ETF, the $267 million Strive 500 ETF, has lead growth this year with a $147 million year-to-date inflow, closely followed by the nearly NCF Strive Emerging Markets, ex-China, ex-Strive inflows. Strive has recently expanded out of equity-only funds, unveiling two fixed-income ETFs last month. According uh, but Strive's ascent uh, has come with some hurdles. Two former employees have filed lawsuits against Ramaswamy and his co-founder Anson Ferrix in recent months, accusing them of mistreating staff and pushing employees to violate securities law. The company intends to vigorously defend itself, it said in a statement to Bloomberg last month. And Strive could also face headwinds as firms such as BlackRock move to give investors more voting power at shareholder meetings in the 2024 proxy season, Bachuna said. Uh, big passive companies like, like, uh, like BlackRock and Vanguard are, are beginning to democratize uh, the voting and letting the in investor decide, which diffuses some of the argument with their voting everyone shares in an ESG way. Bachuna said, 